We're Ray and Candace. From Need More Designs in Portland, Oregon. We like good design and great stories. We also love coffee and discovering new and amazing coffee roasters. Did you know that over 2 billion cups of coffee are consumed in the world every day? And there are thousands of small and large roasters out there roasting phenomenal coffee. Join us as we discover new coffee, one bag, one episode at a time. This is Unpacking Coffee. This week we're, we're uh, discussing the barn in uh, Berlin, Germany. So uh, we discovered this coffee uh, because it was shipped in, in the, along with the issue of Standart. Yeah, they are starting, it's a, it sounds like this is the first time they've shipped coffee mm. with their subscription. So that was a, a good way to learn about this coffee. In fact, we're trying one right now. Yeah. Uh, this is the Breezy. Mm -hmm. Swami The barn started in, in 2010 mm -hmm. as serving serving coffee from uh, Square Mile. Yes, in, in London. Yeah. Not being satisfied with that, they decided that they really wanted to. Well, I think they liked the coffee, but they had a burning desire to like roast their own. Right? Yeah. In 2012, they started roasting mm -hmm. and sourcing and just doing a, a, a great job. So I talked to Ralph, who is the owner and head roaster. Uh, my name is Ralph. Rula, the, the owner and the founder of the barn. Um, I decided to roast two years after opening my first coffee shop um, to get, I got infected by the coffee virus. I started roasting, uh, which was a, a great, great thing for me. And what we push very hard is to be the best and to present the highest quality uh, which is a niche, but it's uh, growing very fast. Uh, I think the, the, the greatest thing for me to, um, when we look at where is the product coming from, uh, from a farmer, he or she, working incredibly hard to push out a high quality products. You know, we don't start this to make the world better. We do this because we are really greedy and we want this like fantastic product. But, uh, and at the same time, we can only like achieve that if we give the farmer more money and more knowledge and empower them. The head barista there serves whatever they're roasting right then and takes notes and at the end of the day shares those notes with the roasters, like feedback. It seems fantastic. It seems like everyone should do that. So I find their roastery in particular to be interesting. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, no music. No music, yeah. No music, no buggies. But the idea is that you would come in and you would relax, slow down, talk to your barista. It was very important for us to showcase this, uh, the barn roastery here by breaking habits very drastically and to give us like a very distinct identity, which was very controversial. Uh, we really wanted to make sure when someone enters the room, they go like, oh, what is this? There's no armchairs, there's no menu, there's no music. People are like talking to each other and not talking to a laptop and so on. Just look at each other and uh, be in the space, not in cyberspace, and create this like coffee house atmosphere that we had in the 50s where someone would read a paper and then flirt with that person across the room and so on to really, and to, or to talk to the server and the barista and so on. That is what we wanted to create and we did it so drastically uh, so that people really like talked about like there's something like completely different and they had to get used to it. So what do you think of the logo, Candice? Well, I enjoy the simplicity of it. Mm -hmm. I think about um, the roastery that he describes, which is sort of like a, a calm place to like listen, think about coffee. And I really like how it's like super clean and clear and there's like one identifying mark. And it's something that um, like when you see on these bigger pieces, it's just, it's, it's like instantly recognizable, but then it also looks good on this. Yeah, it is, it is very recognizable. And it's almost a folk art-esque yeah. kind of a design. Like I love that this, this, the mark is like the only part of it that is kind of, but it does feel very handcrafted. And this feels like someone drew it, right? Not on a computer, but like someone probably drew it and scanned mm -hmm. it or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I think about, um, how they talk about roasting and their coffee and it's all hand roasted. Everything, and do everything by hand. Everything by hand. And so it also plays really well 
think the identity matches the way they talk about themselves really nicely. The Barn Coffee Roasters, Berlin. Awesome. Oh, hi Candace. <laughs>